So I got this book, Fritzy Finds a Hat, okay, by Scott Hamilton and illustrated by Brad Paisley. So it says right here, the story centers around Fritzy, a young boy who loves to skate and learns his mom has cancer. Each new page has him searching for a different hat for his mom to wear as she undergoes cancer treatment. Yes, so this is the book that I recommend for Mrs. Morris Reads for her YouTube channel for her third grade students in West Virginia. This book was actually provided to us by Paul, AKA Scrap and Palette Man. And so we're recording it on the orange background in honor of him. Uh, and he put a little dedication in the front. It says, be awesome, stay awesome, do your thing, Paul, AKA Scrap and Palette Man. P.S. God loves you and so do I. Fritzy Finds a Hat, a gentle tale to help talk with children about cancer by Scott Hamilton with Mary Caffeine, illustrated by Brad Paisley with Bill Kersey. It was Tuesday and Fritzy Goldwing started his morning with a very important assignment. He had to find the perfect hat for his mom. It has to be the best, the bestest best, Fritzy announced, tying up his skates to begin the search. Something that makes her smile, like when I finish my broccoli. Or maybe it makes her laugh, laugh so hard she gets hiccups. Fritzy needed the right hat fast because this was going to be his new job on Tuesdays, picking out the perfect hat for his mom's trip to the hospital. Fritzy's mom had cancer. That was a scary word and he knew it meant mommy was sick. But she sat him down and with a great big hug, she shared what the doctor had told her. It wasn't something he could catch and it wasn't something he had caused, but she would have to take some very strong medicine to help her body get better. Sometimes she wouldn't feel so good and there was one big surprise. The medicine might make her hair fall out. Mommy says hair grows back, Fritzy explained to his cat, Percy but having a few new hats will make the time go faster. So Fritzy, who never did anything slow, used his skates to help him go faster. Fritzy loved to skate more than anything, more than peanut butter and jelly maybe, and skating fast helped him think even quicker. What would mommy like today, he wondered, practicing his figure eights around Wimpole, the tiny town where he was born. First, he thought about a hat with pillows, one on each side so mommy can rest when she gets tired, Fritzy explained, remembering the medicine would make her sleepy. Or maybe a hat with a phone? Fritzy knew his mom loved to keep in touch, even if she would be home before it was time to tuck him in. Or she might like a furry hat to keep her warm, Fritzy said, noting that Percy would be perfect because sometimes the hospital can be very cold. I could find a hat with hugs and kisses so she knows I'm always there, even if I can't come along. But she might like a soup and crackers hat just in case her tummy gets rumbly. Her doctor said she might not eat much. And here's my favorite, said Fritzy, a hat filled with jokes. Knock, knock. That will make her hiccup. Those are all pretty good ideas, Fritzy said to himself but not the perfect idea. Fritzy thought and thought and skated and skated, and he even slowed down a bit to say a little prayer because that always made him feel better and maybe it would help his mom feel better too. Suddenly, Fritzy jumped for joy. He had an idea, an idea that made him flip, an upside down flip. Fritzy found the perfect hat, the best hat of all, one that he made all by himself. It says, Fritzy loves mom. Mommy said it was the best, the very bestest best, Fritzy said, beaming with pride. And not because it was funny or furry or filled with her favorite jokes. It reminded her of Fritzy, his mom said, and that was the best gift of all. And that's the end. Thank you very much, Scrap and Pallet Man, for providing this book for us. The kids have really enjoyed it so far. I'm going to take special care of it, though. It's not going on the 
normal bookshelf and uh, keep doing what you do. Love you guys. Thank you, Sarah.